Now, U.S. stocks, they continue to rebound this Thursday afternoon right behind me here at the New York Stock Exchange. This coming despite the new COVID variant of Omicron arriving right here in U.S. shores, both in California and Minnesota. Now, a second case, yes, was found today. The Minnesota Public Health Authorities reported the second U.S. case of the Omicron variant of COVID in a resident who recently returned from right here in New York City. The Minnesota resident already recovering from Omicron and the California resident reporting just mild symptoms. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, the euro dollar's worry begin that sees a bullish bias above 1.1305. The British pound US dollar pair that happens to see the upside prevail, while at the same time the US dollar Japanese yen pair that sees the upside prevail as well. Now, what remains in focus today, the Australian dollar US dollar pair in consolidation as the pair is pulling back on its 20 period moving average, but remains under pressure below the resistance at 0.7120. Short positions below that figure are favored with targets at 0.7080 and 0.7060 in extension. At the same time, the Bitcoin dollar intraday, that is seeing a rebound. The pair's pivot point stands at 55,140, while gold is under pressure. Gold remains under pressure below the horizontal resistance at 1784 and below its 50 period moving average. Short positions below 1784 are favored with targets at 1767 and 1757 in extension. This while silver sees its key resistance at 2248 a troy ounce. Don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter and other social media networks for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central Web TV on this a Thursday afternoon, live from the balcony above the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Swinney.